YouTube, man. It's your boy Dev. Uh, here for another reaction video. Man, it was a long ass weekend, man. Had Gasparilla in the Tampa Bay area. Man, nigga is donezo, bruh. But yeah, man, you know, it's Monday. So I can't say that I'm too excited right now. You know, I'm driving to work. So uh, I took a listen to that Summer 16 by Drake. This, you know, I'm gonna put that reaction video out a little, la uh, a little later. But I, now I got a chance to listen to Meek Mill's 4 for 4 Part 2. Uh, part 1, Part 1 was real good, man. I, I like Part 1. Other than his diss track, you know, with I'm the Plug, man, that was a decent EP, man. I, I, I was feeling that. I felt like that's what Meek needed, you know, to put him back on the right path. Hopefully, you know, he continue where he left off because uh, that's where he need to be, man. But uh, personally, man, why y'all bringing the beef back? That's what I want. I mean, I like Flex Drake, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind Flex Drake, you know? Like, this man put out fire. But like, why Why now, me? You know what I'm saying? Why Why respond seven, seven months, six months, or whatever how long it's been? I know it's been months later. Why respond now? Not Why not? And why not just let the shit fade, yo? Now you all of a sudden got a sense of pride or something, man? I, that's the shit I don't understand, bro. Like you should have, you should have responded as soon as he came out with the first one. But you know, everybody seemed to be beefing with Drake. But I've been talking too much, man. Let's get into this. Meek Mills, four for four, part two. ATL, Louisville. Time to my nigga Louis Willfield. Thursday. Alright, we got track one for show. I be getting money fucking hoes. Put the things on me everywhere I go. Lot of things on me everywhere I go. If you want the other side, then you gotta go. Always strap up. Always. I be getting money on the low. You know that was track one you know it wasn't pray for him but you know it was a decent intro man he just can't he came too hard on four for four part one man that intro was flame so i didn't i i didn't expect this one to be that good but you know it, it was decent all right we got track two ricky go against me hey, 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 hey. we kill all you motherfucking haters Yeah, we need. 
bro. This the beat that I used to listen to. I don't understand, bro. That was definitely a banger, man. Meek Mill did his thing on that track, man. See, I know it's Monday, so my reaction kind of blah right now, cause you know I'm still soaking it in. But I don't even I don't drink coffee, so I just naturally get get energy. You know what I'm saying? So music is my energy, and and that that shit woke me up, man. I, that was that was a bomb ass track, bro. Like I was feeling that for real. Hey, man. So so Meek. Meek so far, you know, it's 50-50 right now. We're going to see how track three and track four is. All right, we got track three, Slippin'. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, oh, I can't get up when I'm slipping. Oh, oh, I'm slipping. That I'm DMX slipping. joint. Oh, shit. Oh, DMX joint. And they got Future on it. Oh, oh shit. I got to get up I'm slipping. I'm falling. I got to get up. You that money for motivation. Okay, that lean had me slipping. Damn, dog, you tripping. Had to tell my niggas that they focus on the mission. Now we at the Grammys. Started in the kitchen. And I bought the family. Fuck them other niggas. Cause ain't no vibers that poke me. Shot me. Broke me down on my knees. Shut it down. Bro, this is the beat, man. Oh, I'm not the only one that thought that I slipped. You niggas crazy if you thought I would quit. No. Oh, this sample, bro. Oh, yeah. Strap up. Like always, damn, they reeled me in with that sample, bro. Cause DMX slipping is like one of my all-time favorites, bro. Man, that's that's some that's some deep shit right there. But uh, what I thought was funny, what I just thought about right now is Future. Like this man, Meat really let Future on the hook, bro. <laughs> oh man, I, I guess money talks, Chris Tucker. <laughs> Money talk, motherfucker. And for the finale, War Pain. Now, I won't lie. I've heard War. I've heard War Pain is the diss track to Drake. So the last diss was disappointing. So hopefully, this one better. You know. But so far, meet two for one on the uh, two for one on the album. You know, two for one. Toronto oh. status. Five star hotel, four seasons. Oh shit. Trucks right upstairs. They know not to come down here playing no real niggas. Wait. <laughs> Move. Wait. 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 So you telling me that that shit that Drake said in summer '16 about him being upstairs and playing back to back when he checked in the hotel upstairs? That shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this man Drake is savage, bro. Oh man, now I gotta do another reaction to the reaction I did to Summer 16, bro. Oh my god. Damn, I didn't even start Meek Mill this track and I'm already laughing. Nikki in the bedroom sleep. Life is good. Oh, okay. I've been in my cell for a week straight. Locked down 24, no more for me stick. Ask me to hold the DC chain, now you want some shit 
I'm mad like Tommy getting mad cause he like was a bitch And I'm like, hey, I saw that picture, bro. Cause we gon' charge him trips <laughs> All right, so my thoughts on that diss track, man. Uh, Meat came harder than the previous ones he did, at least. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was a a decent diss track as a as a as a track itself, though. I didn't really like it, you know, like. But it was a decent diss track, you know. The shit he was saying about, you know, um, Drake holding his chain. I saw, I saw a picture on that, and that shit was crazy to me. It's just crazy listening to both uh, diss diss tracks that you see that like how Meek Mill said he was he was in the hotel you know and you know niggas was upstairs and they ain't say shit and then Drake said that shit he was upstairs playing back to back the whole time yo that's so savage bro oh man nah you gotta shoot me the fade bro nah I would've went upstairs bro you gotta shoot me the fade even the shit he said about Tory Lanez bro like I guess all all this shit is facts bro like it, it's it's if they if they talking about it, I mean the shit must be true, you know what I'm saying? I think that you know Meat Mill actually doing a better job, you know. He he coming back at Drake, you know what I'm saying? He not just getting body, you know. I mean, you supposed to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You can't get body, bro, especially by no singing niggas. So I mean, another thing I want to know is like what what? <laughs> so Nicki Minaj in the hotel room. So if this is true, Nicki Minaj in the hotel room, and I know she here back to back upstairs. <laughs> You know, damn well they ain't watch no Sixers game. <laughs> Cause they hate winning. So, so please, I wanna know what Nicki Minaj was thinking like, this nigga here playing back to back upstairs. Meek, what you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, but this been your boy Dev, man. Like, comment, subscribe.